Hello Guardians, hope you're doing well and hope you're having a great day. In today's Destiny 2 video, we'll be going over the fastest route to getting Season Pass 100 in Season of the Splicer. The Season Pass offers a new exotic sidearm, a machine gun, and a shotgun, so no doubt that the Season Pass must be worth it. Well, hopefully it is, because I love machine guns and I love shotguns and I love stasis, kind of. So I believe that this season pass is worth of a grind. There's a lot of tips and a lot of tricks to get to rank 100, so I'll be jotting down this in today's Destiny 2 video. And if any time you feel that this video is informative, please, if you don't mind, and only if you feel fit, please subscribe and like this video. And as well, join our community Discord. But other than that, enjoy the video. Seasonal challenges have been the main focus for the past seasons now since weekly bounties were removed from a lot of the vendors inside Destiny 2. Gives a lot of XP, glimmer, and bright dust, and is a main contributor for XP from now on. And it is for the season pass, because this is the first tip and probably the biggest one is doing your seasonal challenges. Now, when I say seasonal challenges, you might say, oh, I don't have the season pass, so therefore, Redrix, I won't be able to do so. Here's the good part. The first couple of weeks, right, there's about 10 seasonal challenges, and then it starts going down to like 9, 8, 7, etc. But, however, 6 of the 10 seasonal challenges in the first few weeks are free for all players, making it so you'll be able to free free players who just occasionally just play Destiny 2 if you want to go and do th so. However, if you do have the Season Pass, those extra four seasonal challenges you will be able to do for more XP and weapons. So even if you do not own the Seasonal Pass, you can still level up. And again, it's one of the best factors leveling up each season because you can keep doing it week over week over week. And if the of course, the story develops in about six to seven weeks. You'll be able each week to go in, do the main triumph or whatever seasonal challenge that you want to do, and it will get you maybe a weapon, some shards, legendary, maybe some lore as well. So it's a very big factor in getting XP for your season pass and for all that other good stuff. Something I say every season, but I just want to let everyone know again is please, when a season starts, go to your Go Shell and be sure to put the XP gain mod that increases XP gains by 12% each season when playing activities. If you do have the season pass and you want to play like Vault, the new seasonal activity, etc., doing Crucible, Mayhem, you get the idea, then you want to have that XP gain mod on and equipped increasing your gains by 12%. Another thing that I want to point out is that when a season pass, is every season pass I should say, they do have a fire team booster when you rank up and it will increase XP benefits for all fire team members if you're in a fire team with more people. So please, if I know a lot of people might be playing this game solo, I know that that's something that could be happening but if you do have friends online and they're playing or you want to invite friends into destiny 2 it's a great way and a great benefactor to getting more xp because you're in a fire team and you're getting xp more you're getting more xp while playing with friends for the season pass again i just want to let everybody know that my discord has tons of people online and we do have an lfg network if anyone's interested of in going down there it's linked down below Ranking up in Infamy or Glory slash Valor is still a great way of getting XP since like the beginning of time at this point in Destiny 2. Now I thought striking the strike ranking system that was going to happen this season is actually not happening until the season after season of the Splicer in season 15 so we're going to have to get a rain check on it. However I just want to let everybody know that still ranking up in Infamy and Glory or slash Valor, depends on what you play in PvP, it's still a great way of getting XP. If you reset those, they give tremendous amounts of XP, and it's been a thing if you're going to go on with the Gambit Gui Gilded Seal again this next season, or the Unbroken Gilded Seal uh, next season as well, it still gives you a lot of XP. Slash the Grandmaster uh, or the Conqueror Seal next season as well if you pick that. 
But yet again, they still give a lot of XP, and I just want to let everybody know again that bounties is still a great source of getting XP. Now, I know a lot of players actually don't think bounties do a lot to, you know, XP, you know, coming into it after seasonal challenges were introduced, and yet they don't give too much, but they still give some. And I feel like it's better to have more if you can just do a little thing, like if it says just get 10 melee kills, it's better just to get 10 so you can get a little bit more out of it. So I would say that, you know, again, Doing some many bounties there and there still help a long difference of getting more XP. And I believe that the Ha Sean vendor will finally get repeatable bounties. Oh, I've been waiting for that. No, I haven't. But still, you get the idea. That bounties and that seasonal, you know, resets for Infamy and Valor still give a lot of XP. The seasonal challenges, in my opinion, are one of the best ways to get XP, like I said before, and probably the best out of all of these bounties do help along difference and of course the iron banner will have a lot of xp with their new weapons that they're coming out this season that will begin the second week of season of the splicer so if you're interested in iron banner for those new weapons returning weapons from destiny one then that will give you a lot of xp coming into season of the splicer and in season the season pass for it so again iron banner is still a great option for xp Again, just want to say is that bounties, again, do help a lot. The Infamy and Valor resets do help a lot. Please be sure to have your Glory, oh well, your Ghost perk mod on so you can get XP gains increased by 12%. And you are in a fire team. Remember, if you want to join up in my Discord, of course, LFG Network there or any LFG Network anywhere on like Discord or something, it can help a lot of difference. Getting in a fire team, guys, just being with some friends or meeting some people will get you a lot of XP and it can really help Benefactor in getting more XP for your season pass. And leveling up can get you more perks and more things after that that can increase your fire team XP gains. So, again, it can really help. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you found it informative in any way, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and like, and if you want to, join our community discord, which will be linked down below. I will see you guys next time, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day.